So they're like, yeah, we just we just ate. But I'm like, I I'm kind of hungry, so I'll probably order some food over here. And I pulled up Uber Eats because I'm like, sweet. Now I'm in a different location. I'll have different restaurants that I can choose from than my normal Uber Eats. It looks greasy. And Lago was on there. And I was like, boom, got it. Perfect meal. I'm going to have Lago delivered to your place. It's like the best Sunday ever. And I, I offered to pay for some food for Pound Cake Which as you didn't well. have to? Not at all, but I wanted to repay the favor. Hey, you're having me over at Gay Bay to swim in your pool. <laughs> they bought me some some beers. Like, yeah. I will, I will um, repay the favor, right? So I ordered, he ordered a pizza, a whole pizza, which is fine. With and, orange slices and marshmallows and gummy bears on it? <laughs> no. no. Okay. But um, then I ordered a round of the meatballs for us to share. And <laughs> another round of meatballs, please. <laughs> <laughs> meatballs for all my friends. She's meatballs, 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 meatballs. Fly. That's a meatball? <laughs> yeah, meatballs. Yep, yeah. all the balls for uh -huh. everyone. And then I ordered like my own entree or whatever. So the food took forever to come, but it was not Lago's fault. It was the driver and whatever. I'm fine if there's no balls. So I called Uber and I'm like, what's happening with this order? I'm like, it's been literally an hour and a half. And it said it should have been delivered like an hour ago. And this guy was dropping off a food order on the way to us, but the other people didn't show. So he's just sitting there waiting for them. So our food's in the, his back, the back seat of his car, and he's just waiting at somebody's place until they show up. So they discounted our food by half. So I was like, all right, this is perfect. Like, I was willing to spend a lot of money. But I didn't have to. I had an Uber driver telling me about his Uber Eats because those drivers are all doing that now, Uber Eats. And he said it's it can be a colossal pain in the ass. He goes, I get a regular order from this girl who works at a hospital, and she has to have these specific garlic French fries from a place that's like 30 minutes away. Mm -hmm. He goes, so she ends up tipping me big because I go get them for her. But she's like, she ends up tipping me like 200% on French fries that she could probably get next door, but they cost her like $7. He goes, I'm driving around taking his chick french fries all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's the thing is like, it, but you can only order from restaurants that are within a certain amount of driving distance. So for instance, like Lago is from his place is like probably just on the cusp mm -hmm. of like where, like the edge of where you can go. But I don't get Lago delivered to Fairview. Like I couldn't, that's why I was excited to order food there. Well, so how did this pool party go down? Well, so we were just swimming by the pool, waiting for our food for, like, literally 10 years. And it's just me. Uh, my husband was there for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then his roommate, Zach, and, and Pound Cake. And we are just swimming in the pool. And he's there. We had the radio on. He's just swim dancing. Who? Your husband? Pound, no, oh, Pound Cake. Me, my husband course. didn't swim. He was going to a concert. He went to Rancid. Are you guys the only ones in the pool at this time? Or is it, yeah. like, it's a community pool? Nobody is. It's a community pool, but no one uses it. Like, I've been over there a few times now. I never see anyone in the pool besides us. On a hot Sunday, nobody else is in there. No. Hmm. And so we're just sitting there waiting for the food. We finally get the food. We go to eat. and um, Hot Sunday is also something that Pound Cake likes quite a bit. <laughs> here's, my, here's my question to you. I want you guys to fill in the blank of what you think happened. Uh -huh. There are three meatballs in an order at Lago. What do you think happened with the meatballs? Pound Cake ate two. <laughs> Okay, with no hesitation i go he just and he didn't just gently reach like politely reach for the second meatball are these big meatballs they're like they're not ginormous but they're not small but they're clearly not like you could cut one, one in half and be just fine okay with it. gotcha so he doesn't even just you know politely ask for the meatball he doesn't like gingerly kind of put his fork over to like test the waters he just takes his fork and stabs it picks it up and puts it right into his mouth and i'm like oh so that makes sense you're the i bought the food but you get the larger proportion of the meatballs then and he was like well i don't know i, I thought Why'd you, you had get your all greedy pound cake I didn't mean to be so greedy, but I just looked over at her her place. She had salad, rigatoni, and then she had like a half-eaten <laughs> meatball. Erica her sampler platter. Yeah, just sitting there. So I was like, okay, well, maybe she doesn't want the other two meatballs. Maybe she wanted to. She wanted me to have it. I didn't know our entire friendship. Why didn't you was, ask? I don't know. That's what I said. Why don't you ask? I don't know. Normal people would ask for the for the second meatball. Didn't care enough. That's he'd rather what ask do. for he'd rather ask for forgiveness than permission. Yes. Which I do appreciate, by the way. But when it comes to food, people can get very proprietary. <laughs> but if it was like anybody else, I probably would have asked because why it's didn't just you ask poor. her? Because he's I, so comfortable. <laughs> yeah, he's so comfortable. For but that's not comfortable, <laughs> right? That's rude. I mm -hmm. I just happened to see that she had like two huge plates over there, so I figured she didn't want it. His own roommate Zach was like, "Oh yeah, he does that. Like that's who he is." 
And we're like, no, man. When there are when there are an odd number of appetizer items, you always ask the other person, did you want the last one of that? That's the human thing to do. Well, especially since you said your roommates are constantly cooking for you, pound cake. And you just you got back from would, brunch. Yeah, you think you would defer to, yeah. <laughs> that was like yeah, a he couple wasn't hours even ago. hungry. <laughs> Oh, damn. But anyway, so, but he did make up for it because I was going to Uber home from his house, but he drove me home. So I said, okay, you ate the extra meatball, but you did drive me back to my house. Exactly. So we're even. How much was the meatball? Maybe like $1.50. I used like no, $5 worth of gas on you. $15 meatball. No, 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 no. I'm just saying a, a piece. How much do you think one meatball would right, cost? $3 ish. Okay. So I used probably like $5 worth of gas taking you home to, fair, uh, to Fairview. So, whatever. Right, like I said, we're So, eating. yeah, I'm glad we're getting this all cleared up. That, that's the type of guy I am. That's the type of friend but, I am. But don't you think it says something about a person when they no. take the larger portion of an appetizer when they're not the one paying? Or just in general. And you got it at a discount. Well, Pound Cake has an answer for everything. I know. It's never like, you know, I wasn't, I'm sorry. It's, he has an answer for every I single say thing. I'm sorry. It's just that his answers don't make sense. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor. You put on that extra right. calorie. I'm doing you a favor. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's not my fault you bought food after brunch and then, oh, I'm, I, I'm tanked full of mimosas. Let me drive you home. Gee. No, I wasn't, he hadn't no. drank for a while, so. Uh -huh. And if I was there for like... <laughs> he was chock full of meatballs, so it's all sobered up. <laughs> I was going to say... All the then, bread and the meatballs yeah. soaked it up. Then you got to worry about him uh, falling asleep in a food coma on the way to driving you home. No, he was okay. Sitting in his meatball farts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did he have meatball farts? Did no. he get those? Are you sure? I, not that I noticed. Know? Were you holding them in? Probably. I think my body's just used to holding everything in and just like... Exploding when I actually go to the bathroom. Oh, She's exploding. All right. Well, it's got a I, I guess if you have to err on the side of caution, that's the way to do it. Yeah. I did tell. I said we were even, but I said I'm still gonna make fun of you on the show for the meatball because I just I don't. I've never been in a situation where somebody just boldly took the second of three of an appetizer with no. But you can't qualms. be shocked. No, I wasn't at all. And neither right. was his roommate. His roommate was like, oh, yeah, I actually make him, like, the second largest portion of food when I cook because I know he'll complain if he gets the least. Oh, yeah, I will not yeah, complain. Yeah, pound cake's a pig. Yeah, we all know that. That he, is a uh, lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Your roommate outed you. Although he did complain because he, he likes the... Uh, I, I like the chewy chocolate chip cookies. When he, when he goes grocery shopping, he'll, like, kind of cater to what I want because he knows I, I like to a certain specific type of cookie. So he gets the chewy for me. White people problem! And he gets the, the crunchy cookies because he said those taste better with milk. And so I ate all my chewy cookies, and the only, thing, the only ones that were left were the crunchy ones. And there was only, like, a few left, and I was like, hmm, maybe I'll take them up on that. Maybe they are better with milk. And I ended up eating them so all. So you ate his cookies? But I, I was like, I will buy you another box of cookies. Okay, like, you it's don't not a have to eat everything that is put down in front of you. But I was hungry, and I was there all, all night. Right. Well, hungry. when Fat Pound Cake uh, joins the show, that'll be a lot of fun. By the way, I should mention that he still had pizza left when he took the last meatball. It wasn't like he was done with his food and was still hungry. He still had pizza in front of him. Well, a box. you yeah. let him get away with it. Well, no, I you didn't. You do. I, You've created this. Pound I called cake. him out on it at the time, and then he offered to drive me home. So I was like, mm, "It's even." And I offered to drive you home way before I even ate the last meatball. That is true, but I was not going to take you up on it. Well, until yeah, because he was happened. setting you up. It wasn't doing anything out of the goodness of his heart. He was setting you up. Hey, sure. can I, should I take you home? Yeah, thanks. If you Yoink, a, meatball. If you have a meatball and I have a meatball, I eat your meatball. <laughs> yeah. I eat it up. <laughs>